Hey guys, it's Darwin. And Snuggles. So, as most of you know, uh, Snuggles and I will be returning to the Appalachian Trail uh, the first week of June and finishing our hike from Great Barrington, Massachusetts to Mount Katahdin in Maine. So, we wanted to start doing a few videos on our preparation for the hike and exactly what we'll be carrying for that last 600 miles. So, I thought on this video we could talk about the gear that I'll be returning with uh, when we go back to Great Barrington. Um, so this is my pack that we'll be reviewing today. Uh, this is the Osprey Aurora 50 Anti-Gravity Pack. This is the one that I picked up while on trail. Um, my base weight starts at 14 pounds, 15 ounces. That's just the base weight, so that's not including all the junk food that I'll be carrying and the water that I carry as well. That's also not including all the clothes that'll be on your back or your trekking poles. Correct. So just the base weight of what she has on her back. Um, so, let's open the pack up, let's take a look at everything, we'll give you the names of the stuff that she's carrying, and the weight. Yay! Alrighty guys, this is a quick look at everything that I carried in my pack and we'll be going through it one by one and I will explain it in great detail. And we're zooming in here on my pack. This is Janet, an Osprey Aura 50 anti-gravity pack. This is a pack that I got on the trail. Great pack. Very loved. Have patches on the very top. Very, very nice addition. This next item is my sleeping bag, the Copen, and this is in a Z-Pack stuff sack, which is amazing. I love my 15 degree bag. I'm always cold, so it worked best for me. This next item is my footprint to the tent that Darwin and I shared. Darwin carried the rest of the tent, and I just carried the footprint, which again is by Big Agnes. This is a Sea to Summit um, rain cover for my pack. Worked well. It was easy for me to finagle on Janet. The Thermarest Z Light is my pad of choice. I don't like all the blow up stuff. This is my butt pad, also known as the Thermarest Z Seat. Amazing for my tushy. My Snow Peak Cup. Darwin carried the stove and everything else, so I just carried the cup. It was a lot easier. Then I've got my spork, of course. Got to have something to eat with. I don't want to eat my with my dirty fingers. And please excuse the man hands here, but this is the Sea to Summit Alley spork. Then I've got my Sawyer squeeze, which Darwin also carried one. We try to carry things, so if we got separated, we could still live without each other. Are my platypus, platypus bags, um, both dirty bags. And I've got my two smart water bottles that I carried flavored water in one and then regular water in the other. Then, of course, you got to have an AT guide. Uh, really enjoyed looking at that. I would carry it and Darwin carry one page of it. Um, and then, of course, my journal. This is how I wrote everything down. And then Uno cards for those times when you're stuck in the tent because of rain. Good things to keep you occupied. I didn't carry this the first part of the trail, but the second part I did. This is the iPod Nano. Gotta have it. You can only listen to so many birds. Then I've got my Black Diamond Spot um, headlamp, which worked well for me. Had the red light on it, which is awesome. Next up, I'm going to take a look at my uh, Lucky Ultralight Poles. I also picked these up on the trail. If you read my journals, you know I had a snafu with those. I did recently get some new tips for these bad boys because I like to trip over a lot of things and I ended up breaking off some of the tips so I just got those replaced. Next up is the Sea to Summit food bag. Uh, carries lots of food because I like to eat lots of junk when I'm hiking so very good bag. This next thing is not a hairnet but it's a bug net and sometimes it helps sometimes not so much but every little help I can get for the mosquitoes is great. Next up is my first aid kit. A lot of random items in there, but I feel are necessary. As soon as I don't have dental floss is the time that I'm going to need it. So I do have various items in there. Then I've got my Ben's 100% DEET. A lot of people are against that, but it worked well for me. 
Uh, then I've got my toothbrush. I want to make sure I'm at least having some fresh breath on the trail. So just a, a little travel size toothbrush there. Next up is my shit tickets. Gotta have it because I, you know, have shit on the trail. And then uh, sanitizer. We gotta try to keep it a little bit clean. This is like a little toiletry bag here. This is things that I might need to take to the privy. I chose to keep it old school and use pads and tampons while on the trail, so I've got those in there. And then I've also got a little bit of um, anti-chafe um, glide or stick. It helped me a lot on the trail, keep things from rubbing together. Next up are a few items for the Z-Packs clothes bag. This is where I stuffed a bunch of, of random clothes items. Running shorts, those are my dry clothes. Underwear, of course. Sports bra. Then I've got um, some darn tough socks and liners. Thank you, Rube. And then also a dry shirt. So that way I always had something to change into. Whether I was wet because of rain or because of sweat, it was nice to have a good, somewhat clean clothes to wear. Then we've got the Marmot Precip rain jacket. This is amazing. It's super dingy looking now, and I just got it tucked in. It's packs down small, but it was a great rain jacket. Then my Patagonia Down uh, jacket or sweater, 800 fill, amazing, kind of packs down in a weird shape, has some holes in it, but it worked really well. Still wear it today. Then this is my sock hat. This was actually my Papaw, so it was kind of my token to keep on the trail to remind me of him, something from home. Then I've got my Crocs, my camp shoes. I just picked these up at a Goodwill a little bit before we left for the trail, and they work great. I really liked them. So this is a, a scan through of everything that was in my pack, Janet. And now we're moving on to the things I'll be wearing. So the first item we're diving into are my shoes. These are the Merrill um, Siren Sport 2s. These bad boys, have you can already tell, have been on the trail for a while, quite a while. I'll be starting with the brand new pair when we get back. Great shoes. These are my Darn Tough Low um, socks. And my Njinji's, thank you Rube, uh, my Njinji toe socks for my liners. Then next up are my Funky Fun Dirty Girl Gators. I didn't originally start with the Dirty Girls, but I really like them. I've used them since. And I'm starting out with a brand new pair when we return to the trail. What would the fox say? Then of course, can't leave home without it, the Buff. I lost my original one actually when we returned to our hometown, so I had to pick up this other one. My watch for those late night pee trips so I can know what time it is when I'm going pee in the middle of the night. Then the clothes also that I'm wearing are these awesome running shorts that I've had for a million years. These are the guys that have a liner in them. Then thank you to Mama Rube. I have a Go Light Dry Fit t-shirt. Very nice and of course very light. Then for me, gotta have a sports bra. Don't hike without one. Then I occasionally wear a ball cap or a wicking running hat. Um, it's very beneficial to have one if you wear a bug net. So those are the items that I will be wearing while hiking when we return to the trail. Very nice. Pan through. Thanks to Darwin. Excuse the man hands. Those are not my hands. And then these are the items again that were packed up in Janet. All the things that I carry while with me. So hopefully watching this video was helpful for you and uh, showing you what I will be returning to the trail with in my pack, right here, the Osprey, um, by the name of Janet. And that will give you some perspective on, again, what I'm carrying, but also beneficial for you to take a look at to see what maybe you should carry or maybe what you don't want to carry. Remember, everybody's different. Everybody has different comfort levels. I'm completely comfortable with what I'm carrying in Janet. Yeah, so next week we'll be shooting a similar video, but on my gear breakdown for the last 600 miles of the trail and some of the updates that I've done to my pack this year. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section. Like or dislike my video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, go over and check out DarwinOnTheTrail.com. Snuggles has been posting weekly uh, diary updates of all the things that she wrote about last year when we were on the trail. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching.